Okay, uh, this uh, is the Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> Man, that's a pretty sweet one. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, Man, he's doing sweet. a movie that I saw a long, long time ago, um, shortly after I started watching horror films, uh, called Sleepwalkers, which is based off of the uh, Stephen King book of the same name. Um, it's probably not considered a good movie by any stretch or... Uh, yeah. Imagining of the imagination. Um, but I kind of liked it. Um, I haven't seen it in so long. It could be like the Mothman Prophecies where I could watch it nowadays and be like, like ugh. Uh, but who knows? Uh, the, the so, yeah, let's Mothman see prophecies. what Nostalgia Critic has to say about it so I can see if it is as bad as I think it might be or if it's actually kind of decent like I remember it being. <laughs> That was an interesting movie. There's some effed up things happening in this movie, yeah. for sure. Oh, sorry. At first I thought it was the button. front door. Oh, yeah, no, it's the air conditioner. But it would have squeaked. Yeah. I mean, unless they know the trick that I know. You good, Peanut? You ready to watch this, Peanut? He's like, I'm, I'm okay. I'm good. All right, good here we go. Plus, y'all been wanting us to watch one of the Nostalgia Wings... Good. You, you get this reference, right, Kyra? Of course I do. Okay. Because you'd said you hadn't seen the the animated series. No, I've seen a little bit of it. Okay. Did he add the Flavor Town door into the intro? Yes. He yes. Did. <laughs> Man, this is some detailing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> With the corn, that's the thing. Hello, oh, I'm the nostalgia. I remember it so you don't have If they'd had it, so we would have gotten Nate going. that jacket. If they'd had it in the right size. Yeah, we looked. The king of Halloween to introduce another king They had a lot more the first time we went. Time. Like, we came... Re like... I really want to get He's Nate that jacket. Great story after great story and great hilarity after great hilarity. The bad Stephen King films and miniseries have been a highlight every nostalgia ween, and this year, we're starting right off with it. And by God, do we have a good one for you. I am legit giddy. I can't even contain my giddiness. I'm actually holding my giddiness over there. <laughs> this might be the funniest Stephen King movie ever. Funnier than Maximum Overdrive. Funnier than the Tommyknockers. Maybe even funnier than It, which has Tim Curry as a clown. That is an accomplishment. Ladies and gentlemen, Sleepwalkers. Ooh. Released in 1992, Sleepwalkers got panned by critics and barely turned in a profit. But the impact it left on people who did see it will last for eons. Because it wasn't exactly a monster hit when it came out, it's on the verge of being lost to obscurity. We cannot let this happen! Show it in theaters, show it in rental stores, show it at your children's birthdays. First to the one you don't like, and then to the one you really don't like. <laughs> Sleepwalkers must live again! So. With my giddiness ready to burst. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're not covered in blood. If I did, I know I'd be doing something wrong. This is Sleepwalkers. <laughs> Good. God <laughs> dang it. <laughs> He's just gonna cover us in more blood. Uh. <laughs> the film opens with a definition. Gotta love it when the dictionary writes the movie for you. Christ, shape shifting feelings, vampires? Huh. It was just a funny thing Donald Duck did. <laughs> Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, the film's trying to destroy itself before it even starts. <laughs> Either there, they're upping the terror with a bonanza homage. Trust me, by the time this movie's over, that could be valid. We get a Man. unique crime scene, to say the least. Somebody sure doesn't like cats. Oh, this that's is the a first shot. The, trouble. the film's opening scene is Luke Skywalker examining Alf's all-you-can-eat buffet. As far as I'm concerned, this movie can do no wrong apart from forgetting to time travel to get H. John Benjamin to say... That's like Meowschwitz in there. I'm totally on board for this ride! 
was like, Meowschwitz. Yeah. <laughs> well, in most horror movies, this would be a fake out with a cat. But is that a little too predictable at this point? I can't decide if I'd be more let down if it did or didn't do that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's the only one. Yeah, I'd be disappointed either way. At least they had a little extra, though. <laughs> Catapulting bodies yelling hours after they're dead. <laughs> Catapulting. They find it's the corpse of a kid carrying a rose in her hair. Rose. You know, fun fact, I let the director know I didn't think my character would say rose. It was too cynical and bitter for someone who was so optimistic. Ah, never mind. Even the title's a clue for the kind of movie you're about to see. Don't you just want the secret of the ooze written under it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice rap. It doesn't help either that the credits give us some pretty hilarious pictures to follow. <laughs> uh, yeah, cast your vote. Terrifying or Monty Python cartoon? This one looks like somebody Monty erased a dick that Python. a kid drew in earlier. Everything about this looks like the opening to Catwoman. That's not a flattering comparison. No. Male academia. <laughs> you know, they really should clarify that. Is this Shawshank Redemption Stephen King or Maximum Overdrive Stephen King? I'm excited! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had that reaction whenever a King story isn't set in Maine. We fade in on Indiana. The anti-Maine, if you will. Where a man named Charles, played by Brian Krause, is busy rubbing a plastic knife on his arm with blood coming out the top. Like most growing boys. What the hell? I forgot how to spell the rest of your name, so I'll just stop with T. He goes downstairs to Mary, played by Alice Cridge, who looks out at the increasing number of cats around their house, which he sets traps for. <laughs> what the fuck? That actually looked like a real trap. How many cats did they go through on this shoot? Charles and Mary dance through the house while discussing their romantic future together. You going anywhere tonight? To the movies, maybe. Actually, there's a girl that works there. Jealous? Ooh, things are getting interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that Stephen King wrote such steamy scenes early on. No. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. The sounds their lips make when they interlock. Mm. The fact that they're mother and son. No! The way yep. they cuddle in their yep. little... Did you just say mother and son? Yeah. yeah. That's not important. The way they look into each other's eyes. That and... is nasty ass shit. Yeah, I don't need to see any erotic thriller from Norman Bates. <sighs> Would it make any difference if I told you there was a 15 year difference between them? No! no. <laughs> if you're going against what one critic called sexy and sleek, I don't know what to think of you anymore. The feeling is very mutual. What's with this scene where they're walking into the bedroom and a purple light shines out the window? Well, I just assumed there was so much incest in their family that their jizz naturally glowed purple. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know it existed. Look, if you just read King's yeah. original story, you'll see how much better he explained it. There is no original story. What? This started off as a screenplay. There wasn't a book or anything. Yeah, you don't have to pretend that there's a better version out there that you're never going to read. This is what he wrote. Oh, thank God, yeah. This is Ewey. Super Ewey. Majorly Ewey. Now, if it were his sister... <laughs> <laughs> that would be different. Malcolm. Because what? that would be really Yui. I need a therapist. Malcolm, what happened to you? One of the custodians Mal, named on, Tanya dude. is rocking to the 90s hit. Do you love me? As Charles walks in on her. Yeah. I never did figure out why we left popcorn up there. I can't reach it and people can steal it. Oh well, how about we get some slush? Like that muddy snow you find under the car? Please enjoy <laughs> as the health inspector will be closing us down soon. Thanks. See you in class. Welcome to Travis. Thanks a lot. I'll celebrate by being the only good looking guy alone at a theater to watch a movie nobody's seeing. Suspicions, you can use them. So the next day at school, yeah, school, because both of them are totally teenagers, guys. Let's do some <clears throat> birthday searching on this. Totally teenagers, guys! They go to class with other 20-somethings, taught by Glenn Shaddix. Also, I suggest yeah. the next time you keep your hands to yourself. Mr. He learned from the I penguin. I'm not shooting a scene like I'm having missionary sex with Bob from Demolition Man. They're <laughs> 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 having their class in the library, because the classroom would be too obvious. Tanya brings Charles to her house. Oh no, he must not discover I put on underwear. Christ, she's even breathing heavy at the idea of him finding out. Where does she think she is, Reefer Madness? The Lord knows I think they smoked a joint or two to say some of this dialogue. My, my favorite picture's uh, over there. You give weed too much credit. They're clearly on crack. 
Let it be known that one of our most celebrated writers got paid to write the line, I like rocks. I like rocks. <laughs> Just then, an aging George Lucas watched this film saying to himself, I can create dialogue like that, except instead of like, it'd be hate. And instead of rocks, maybe something smaller. Like... Sick. Sick. Charles drives home, but is stopped <laughs> by his teacher who wants to have a talk with him on the side of the road. Oh, those mid-driving student teacher talks. Your transcripts are also fakes. Clever fakes, but fakes. The teacher discovers that Charles lied about where he came from and is blackmailing him for sexual favors. Well, money is not the only medium of exchange. <laughs> Who do you think you are, my mother? Uh, I'll be right no. back. I have to use the restroom. Uh, me too, actually. Oh, you want me to pause it? Honestly, the movie's kind of losing me. Yeah, it's just creepy adults hitting on teens and... I don't want to see that. Oh, come on. Maybe something more traditionally crazy Stephen King will happen. I'm not holding my breath. Yeah, we'll be back. <sighs> All right. <laughs> what? 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 nonchalantly say he's sorry while running away from a monster while missing his hand. I'm sorry! But when Charles offers his hand back to him, he's like, well, thank you. I think I deserve that. Wait, that's my hand! Oh, and shock. also turning into Lion-O. That was kind of weird. <laughs> oh my god, this is all too crazy! C cut to something that makes more sense! Come on, boy! You're the bad guy! Get the hmm. bad guy! Get the bad guy! Come on, boy! <laughs> Does that cop have a cat in the car? Yes! That's the thing. <laughs> yes! What, the canine unit when they pretend to be cops and Sunny, they have a cat. A cat cat. What the sweet hell am I watching? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he turned into a cat monster and they ripped off the teacher's hand and they got chased by a cop who had a cat in his car. And then a cat hissed at him and his face started changing into all these other weird faces and gleamed his toddler's face for some reason and they pushed a button and his car disappeared. His car disappeared. No, really, what did we miss? I swear to God, that's what happened. You're telling me that all of this went down right the hell out of nowhere in the past five minutes. Yes! Okay, but it still looks like the same lame, boring shit. Yeah, even what the cop is describing sounds dull. He didn't have no face. A blur. Shit, I, I don't know. No, no, it was more interesting than that, and it is admittedly weird that a great writer couldn't explain that better, and they probably should be focusing more on why a cop has a cat in the car, but I swear, <laughs> the last five minutes were totally insane! Okay, fine. So it's not just weird adults bonking teens. I swear! Okay then. You'll feed tomorrow, and then you'll feed me, and then we will leave. Oh uh, god! Here we are again! <laughs> Critic, what the hell? Uh, you have to show the Terms of service! <laughs> Terms of service. Remember, honey, I want you home by five. Yes, mom, and I'll be sure to pack extra dyes, too. Nobody loves a smart ass, Tanya. No, I'm just here because Alan Thick was too expensive. <laughs> mom is upset, though, because she wants him to bring a teenage virgin for her to dine on, and he's taking too long. Boy, that's a sentence that doesn't roll off the tongue easy. Go get it. You stay here. I love you, mom. Uh, oh, even he couldn't act past how disgusting that sounded. Yeah. <laughs> you have to pay me double every time we do a take of that. Tanya shows up, but Charles' mother might be jumping the gun. It finishes you somehow. What are your thoughts on assimilation? So they make it to the cemetery <laughs> where they plan to have a picnic as well as a fake out. Wah! You surprised me. That deserves a picture. <laughs> oh, that picture. Shawshank. <laughs> that picture's gonna can develop you into some weird stuff. a whole stuff. generation took pictures for no reason? I can't. It'd be horrifying. Terrible. What are you looking at? Dinner. 
Do you really feel alone like the characters in your story? Because I do. Oh, wow, a super hot high school girl with tons of friends and literally no problems. She must feel so alone. Yeah, you said all this crazy shit happened earlier. It did! Well, we've been here for 15 minutes since we came back. Where is it? Look, I know something crazy will happen again. Just give it a chance. Look, there's the cop. Something exciting has to happen with him. Hey, Clovis, what's up? You catching a nap? Hey, there goes Johnny with his pecker in his hand. He's a one-ball man, and he's off to the rodeo. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Can you want to go get some snacks for the Snorefest? Sure. No, I'm telling you, 15 minutes ago was crazy. It was so crazy. It's going to get so crazy and once they walk away. Boom. Oh, oh. Tanya. I don't think you're entering into the spirit of this. Yeah, so it goes catch it and say it again. Let's see how they react to all this kookiness. No. No. I it was a little harsh on that homicidal monster. I better make sure my attacker's okay. No. Baby, baby. <laughs> you so deserve to get eaten. <laughs> she stabs him with a wine opener and he complains about blood being on his shirt. Just look at his shirt. My mother's gonna kill me. So... Is this an Eddie Murphy comedy now? Is that him <laughs> under all that makeup? Uh. Is he playing everybody? <laughs> and the singing cop comes along and takes him out. Mm. <laughs> cop oh. Kebab! No. You like that? I'm hoping that's gonna be my catchphrase. Cop Kebab! Like, you know, something bad happens. I think Cop Kebab! It's a work in progress. <laughs> but a pencil in the brain just slows him down. What the fuck? Up and tries to shoot Joe Campbell. I don't believe you fired a warning shot, officer. This whole movie feels like a warning shot for any future King written film. This is really hard the to Holy watch. The cat was there as it attacks Charles the same way the rabbit attacks the Knights of the Holy Grail. You know, a scary movie shouldn't have this many Monty Python comparisons. The cat messes him up good and he goes home crying to Mama. Well, oh, yeah, sure. Mommy. sure. Of course now you've come in. Of course now you've come in. Isn't it a perfect? Anything exciting happen while we were gone? Anything exciting happen? Yeah, anything you should just happen. rewind the last several rewind minutes to show them. Yeah. <laughs> anything yes. exciting uh -huh. happen. See. He turned into the cowardly lion again. His eye was taken out with a wine opener. The cat fought him off like a pit bull. And a pencil was put through a cop's brain, coining the phrase, cop kebab. Really? Because it just looks like a bunch of cops standing around. Of course it does! That's how this goddamn movie works! A ton of nothing happening, and then suddenly the dumbest, stupidest shit you can imagine for five minutes! Let me guess, it took place in five minutes. Of course. We don't have to take this. Come, Tamara. We have more productive things we can be doing. Do you? No, we just don't want to be around you. Okay, fuck! <laughs> be that way! But at least look at this thing on the wing before you go! <laughs> at least look at this thing on the wing before you go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> mugging like William Shatner? Oh, the shat would be proud. That's such a good reference. The the shat would be proud. If only the if only the creature were played by Leonard Nimoy, that'd be even funnier. And enough, even with all the cats surrounding his place, none of them ever attack. That really is like a cat, isn't it? The fate of the world depends on them stopping these creatures from getting stronger. And nah, I still don't fetch. Assholes of nature. Charles' mom tends to him next to the Spencer's gift ball. <laughs> because of course they have that. <laughs> and she tries to heal his wounds. We've got to stay here until you're stronger. Try to make yourself dim. Oh, I think he's dim enough already. <laughs> She's referring to him disappearing, which he can't quite pull off, as back at the crime scene, we're given arguably the most honest of Stephen King cameos. I ain't taking the rap on this. Not my fault. I just wrote the damn thing. The director's the one that made him look like the Lion King. <laughs> Speaking of directors, there's weirdly a ton of them in this scene. There's John Landis, Clive Barker, Joe Dante, Toby Hooper. Oh, I get it. They're looking over this crime scene of a movie to figure out how they can fix it. <laughs> Let it go, boys. This won't be nearly as good if it was good. <laughs> oh, Clive Barker and, worry, and John no Landis. Damn. Room. Yeah, he carries and a Joe Dante. In his car. Me? I like squirrels. And Toby Hooper. Awkward guy at 12 o'clock. Damn. Parents know a class one assault Toby Ho Hooper, same guy who did Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm -hmm. Bastard, yes. Okay. Okay. I'll take the rest of the night off. Okay. The cops get to the home of Charles and his mother, just interrupting this bit of brilliant acting. No. No. Uh, My boy is not uh, going to. Uh, no. Wow. Yeah, I'd want to. They seem to be invisible in the house as 
says Officer Ron Perlman comes in to honestly be the shittiest cop in an already impressive lineup of <laughs> shitty cops. I'd like to set up a couple of checkpoints in and out of town. Perp's history by now, Ira. What about the cats? What about them, Ira? Look, as someone who already wore shitty cat makeup, you make some choices. Uh. Listen, that little girl needs a good smack on the butt. And if her mom and daddy won't do it, I'll happily volunteer. Damn it, Ron Perlman. <laughs> and here I thought mother-son incest would be the most pervy we got in this movie. Stay away from her, Soames. He said that like this happened before. What is up with this police force? Right? Stay away from her, Soames. There's not a name for what I'm into, but I still wish to explore it. <laughs> the cops don't find them there, so they leave, but it's advised someone stay with Tanya while two other cops stay at the house. This is the best meal I had since my wife passed on. She was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry. Identify yourself. What the hell? Maybe it was the wind. Okay, every person in every movie ever, please cross the wind off your list of suspects. I yep. know you always put it at number one, but at some point you have to go by the numbers. Speaking yep. of which, reason number 27 million, these are the worst cops ever. <laughs> My god, they've been yuck yuck to death. It's probably the wind. Oh, honey, were we expecting wind? Well, the wind does drop by on the nose. It turns out it's Mary, though, as she invites herself in. You stay away from her. Oh no, she pushed me. I'm down! I'm th she pushed me! I now live on the floor! Once that happens to a cop, we can't get back up! It's like a turn on! Useless! You she pushed me! I ain't taking the rap on this, not my fault. He doesn't actually <laughs> find the strength to recover from that push, as he demonstrates his cop skills by being the worst shot ever. Jeez! Wow! Well, this looks like the time to bravely run away. I'd call Reno 911 before calling these jokers. This next scene. I can't even do it justice. Just watch. Robertson, slow down. No. Oh yes. my god! This is that scene! I didn't know this was a thing! I mean, I knew. Pause it. Kyra, tell the story. <laughs> okay. So, everybody knows how much I like Rhett and Link, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and one time they did an episode about like was it dumbest, dumbest ways people died in horror movies? Yes, this and, was number one. Uh, no, no, they did. It wasn't a. It no, wasn't a you list. had to. You listened to it. Yeah, and you had to describe the method of death. Yeah, you had to guess what they died from based on the noise of the clip that, like, it was the audio that that they played. Oh, you had to. You had to pick from three things. Four. How, Four things, how somebody died. This was one of the clips in there. Stabbed, Stabbed in the back with an, with an, ear, with of an ear of corn. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, like... I, I always, wasn't ready. I always forget that happens in this movie. And then, like... <laughs> I think last time I talked to Chance about it, he was like, yeah, dude, like the freaking getting stabbed with the ear of corn. <laughs> <was> like, yeah. <laughs> Whenever, like, I didn't think that this was what it was from because I didn't remember them saying this. But when she picked it up, I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm, like, no. It's the, I'm like, it's the dumb thing. <laughs> well, I, all I can say is in this situation. Don't, don't you do it. What a corny death. He shucked. <laughs> what happened? You know, There's a kernel hear... of truth in what, what you happened just to the said? audio? Yeah, Nate no, no, muted no, no. it. I muted uh, it. I want to hear the audio for it. <laughs> yeah, back it up and right. let's what? let's just. Uh... Not everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I got. Uh -huh. It's it's like it. Mm hmm. <laughs> It's like, I wonder if we can get down to the ear of the problem. There's blood everywhere! <laughs> nah, this, this all just seems There's cobbled together. It's just popped that right in his spine. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let's see. Man, get man. on with it! It's a good thing she didn't make a meal out of him. Cornmeal! Yeah, 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 I get it. Alright, let's just move on. Moratorium on corn puns. Beware. For now. 
Aw, shucks. I already made what did that. I just say? <laughs> I just made I made that one already, you asshole. Once yeah. again, Stephen King tried to make a scary spectacle out of time. <laughs> <laughs> He hates cards. <laughs> oh no! Wait, I got one more. You could, you know, you you had to see her stalking up behind him. Okay. We're good now. I see t-shirts of this man. T-shirts. Corn on the cop. <laughs> So it's pussies galore. <coughs> All the town cats head towards the house, and once again, the cops have the most non caring manner about the horrors in front of them. Hey! Right there. Put it down. Okay, you don't approach a psychopath dragging a bleeding high schooler by her hair the same way you tell a kid to put a Jolly Rancher back. Put the girl down. I'm going to count to five. One. <laughs> okay, make it two. <laughs> Jesus, Ron Perlman. Not great. How am I supposed to spank high school girls now? From here on out, it mm. just gets crazier and never stops. She blows up two cars with just two bullets burning this cop. Knowing this apartment, <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked if he just lit himself on fire to make it easier on her. Once again, the cats do nothing because they're cats, and Mary kidnaps Tanya and takes her to Charles. <laughs> oh, look at him, he's dead. No! He's not dead. She's actually right. He was very clearly breathing when she said that. Look at him, he's dead. I can tell by the way his stomach goes up and down. Only dead people do that. That's uh, just gas escaping so the body. Makes his favorite uh. song in honor of him not being dead. She brings his body back to life. Uh. I think it's not really made that clear. I'm sure the non-existent book explained it better. And she forces them to dance. Has she totally forgotten the details of this documentary? A well, non-existent book, so this is actually just a movie he wrote. Yeah. I don't think I realized that. I'm surprised that there's not a book. What you? He broke that freaking window. How can a cat break a freaking window? Hey, oh well, I'm sure it's tied steel. to the turtle that's holding the earth, or the dark tower mythos, or you have no original source this time, and you just had to call it stupid. Ha <laughs> ha, just stupid. I ain't taking the rap on this. Not my fault. He turns into Muschietta <laughs> trying to suck her virginness away so they can live, but Tanya takes out his eye, and now suddenly the cats attack. A pretty goddamn random time, to say the least. Actually, again, that does kind of make sense. A cat will just sit there doing nothing, and then suddenly be like, what? 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 Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> Get some fester here too. Oh shit! You had more shots. Time for a gun, like our motto says, to serve and get the hell out of here. You had more shots. At the very least, you can use it as a baseball bat. What the fuck? Immediately timed. Just watch. Oh. You Think fucking... Think of the Tom and Jerry sound effect, and it matched perfect. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Isn't that also a sound that they use for goofing? The Ooh. The back of the monster's head. <laughs> this movie's gonna make me poop. <laughs> 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 They scratch her so much, she catches fire. What? Talk about cat scratch fever. I like your work when it's yep. good. But I freaking love it when it's bad. I ain't taking the rest. That's some hot cat. Hey. <laughs> He's going to keep playing that clip. That's some hot pussy. He's being pressed by something. And Tanya hugs the cat who made it out alive. Just you and me, Clovis. And all these other cats. Just you and me. Yeah, I'm pretty tired for the night. Take the wheel, Clovis. <laughs> That's right. This was all a really warped Tootsies episode the whole time. Because oh my god. It, that's the only way any of this would make sense. This film is bananas. Absolute bonkers. And I love every minute of it. I'd say cat the shit insane. the boring parts, which there's quite a few of in the mm. opening, only adds to the spontaneous surprise of insanity that mounts to the climax of madness in the end. This is one of the most awesomely bad Stephen King movies, and it's simply amazing. 
I love its passion, I love its energy, I love everything about it, even if I have no idea what it was trying to be. It's a masterpiece of epic proportions, and God bless every moment of it. <laughs> You missed the good stuff again. The ending was nothing but Stephen King ridiculousness. Where were you guys? Well, we were watching the good Stephen King movies. Good Stephen King movies? Yeah, the ones that you always say there's a ton of and then never talk about. Yeah, we were actually trying to be fair with the years and years you were making fun of his worst adaptations. Huh, yeah, I guess I have been pretty douchey to a legit, talented guy. All right, I think I'll try this fair thing you speak of. Let's start off Nostalgia Ween right. Next week, I'm gonna count down the top 11 best Stephen King movie adaptations, and you can help. Just tell me in the comments below which ones are your favorite and you think should be on the list. <laughs> which and ones I'll try are my best good? To work them in. I'm gonna stop the mother freaking mist. <clears throat> Wait for it. Seriously, you should see that one. <laughs> awesome. What happened to Malcolm? I don't know, honestly. It scares me to think about it. So it turns out after the fact that that cop actually survives, but he's now a vegetable. Well, a carrot or a don't or an onion or a corn. Damn it! I was gonna <laughs> say it or an ear of corn. Yeah, yeah but yeah, you beat me to it. So, <laughs> as Heather has said multiple times throughout Spoon Sober, this movie was a fucking ride. <laughs> yeah. You haven't even actually seen the movie either. It's just most of it. It's awful. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right. It's a fucking okay. weird movie. But. As it happened, while we were watching this, I, I looked down and pulled up the, the, the page for this. This movie was 91 minutes. Yes. This was an hour and a half. <laughs> yes. Uh, budget, 15 million. Box office, 30.5 million. What, so it actually made its money back? Its money back. Mm -hmm. What the shit? <laughs> yeah. That's, what I That's like. surprising. I wouldn't have guessed it was made with 15 million. I guess it survives based off of the time period when it was a pretty fucked up movie, I guess. So and based off of just having Stephen King's name on it. Yeah. Like, this is just... This is nuts. This is... Absolutely insane. You don't say. I. C Form your words, Ben. Form them well. I don't even. I love that there's a scene with just a bunch of directors. Fucking like Clive Barker was on this. Gentlemen, <laughs> behold. Corn! <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is pretty nice. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. What? I have the soundtrack here. Uh. I have a track listing here. So there's uh, Sleepwalk, which is uh, a very nice instrumental. Johnny, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Main titles. The the third track is called Cop Kebab. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna make us dim. Uh, Fly on the Chicken is a track on this. Uh, I I can't I can't even I can't. I, They got Ron Perlman and Mark Hamill. And they had um, Clive Barker and... And Toby Hooper and yeah. John Landis. Mm -hmm. All three. 
And they all were like, yeah, that movie sounds great. I'll oh, and Joe Dante. <laughs> Don't forget Joe Dante. And Joe Dante. And, I mean, Glenn Shaddix is, you know, a fairly prolific actor. Well, yeah. Well, it's just each of those four names that you mentioned earlier are, like, well-known directors. <sighs> especially <sighs> for, like, especially for, like, mo- like semi-creepy movies. Yeah. I mean... It's just a, it's, it's crazy that this movie exists. In the the fact that, that this movie exists does. is absolute insanity. It's ludicrous. <laughs> and it can be. <sighs> would you believe... Would you believe... Okay. I'm going to have you guess. I'm going to have each of you make two guesses. No. The Rotten Tomatoes score for this movie. Audience or critic? Uh, I'm gonna say under twenty percent. No, I need, I need a number. Eighteen percent. Eighteen. All right, Kyra. Um, I don't know why I want to say sixty-two. What? Wow, that's a big number. <laughs> you get this. Whoa. <laughs> no, I was just, I was just trying to think of something. I'm gonna say. 12 and 33 for audience. I'm just going to stop. So, uh, critics 15, audience 31. Ha! That's that was really damn bitch. close. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Damn. I don't even know. I just, I just thought that it'd be one of those instances where it's like, you watch this movie and it's really... And it's really bad, but for some reason it has a decent score. <laughs> no. No, it's not the case. I'm just dumb, okay. No, it it's it's fine. Don't <laughs> worry. But it's j- I was going to guess 32, but I'm like, "No, nah, I it's there's no way it's that low." You even then you were giving it too much credit. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of credit in there and uh 15% they, like most reviews don't go off of the um, the uh, basically what nostalgia critic was going by, which is this is so bad that it's good. Mm-hmm. Most reviews are just like, yeah, this movie shit. <laughs> like, I I don't even think like okay, here's the thing. There's so bad, like there's bad. There's so bad it's good. And then there's. So bad that it tried to be good, but it was too bad even for that. And wrapped itself back around into some sort of dumpster fire Ouroboros. What would uh, some other movies be that uh, you would think is falls under so bad? Then there's like the stage below that where it's like, <clears throat> it's so bad that it's in the top 10 worst movies of all time and therefore is... A hidden gem that everyone must watch for that reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, Such as it's, the room. <laughs> it's a hidden gem that everyone should watch specifically for what not to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, like there should be classes on certain movies in you know film school. But also because it regains an element of comedy at that point as well. Because <laughs> like you, you you have to admit that like the room is pretty funny. Let's see. So bad. Well, it's, hi, Mark. And like, <laughs> so bad it's good. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That movie is god awful. But it's also just. It's decent. It's god awful. But it's one of those guilty pleasure movies. I expected you to say something like Elf or something. Oh, I just fucking hate Elf. I would say so oh, bad that it's just Christmas bad. Movie. I'm so sorry that she has bad taste. <laughs> it's like so bad that it's just bad as like Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is there is bad. nothing redeeming in that movie. Yeah, I, you can't even laugh at it. It's, it's hard to watch. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like, legitimately, I think the only thing redeeming in Sleepwalkers might be this stupid like Stephen King bit. Where it's just <laughs> Stephen King just being like, I'm not going down for this. <laughs> and it's just like, yes, you are. Dude, sir. the corn in the back is fucking amazing. I don't care yeah. what you say. Yeah, it's, that's fair. Yeah. 
Like, I don't know. I, I, I put this at the, like, the so bad that it's kind of good type level just because it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know? That kind of movie. Yeah. It's like one of the classic horror movies, I guess. It's like, it's really, it's really bad that it's good. Mm. Lost Boys was not one of those movies that was pretty Lost good. Lost Boys is just a good movie. I'm still, yeah. like, hyped up on Lost Boys, by the way. Oh, yeah, she... it's a good it's a good one. Yeah. Holy shit, the attack of Eddie Monster. Get him <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, I was like, but Eddie's a werewolf. It's like don't <laughs> d- d- don't don't do it. It'll I happen kn- to you. Yeah, I know. Um I noticed that uh Dead Meat and his kill count for um uh one of the Friday the thirteenth movies you just did. It was like, hey, there is, he said the name, like said Dead Meat, you know, and I was like, I wonder if he's done a, a kill count for Lost Boys, because they have that scene where he's like, you're Dead Meat! <laughs> <Hey>. Ding! <laughs> yeah, that w- uh, hey, James, if you're watching this, probably not, get on that, man. If you haven't already. I haven't looked. Yeah, oh, I oops. haven't looked either. The movie's definitely worth a kill count if it hasn't been done. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Hold All on, right. let me see what I can do. Here, oh I'm going to look that up. Uh, I'm looking it up. Oh, well, then please, by all means. Um, not by him, but there's been kill counts done, I think. Eh, if it's not an official one by James, it doesn't... Not the same. No, because no, it doesn't come... It, it's not one of the first ones that comes up, so... Yeah, oh. it would probably be on the top of... Oh, wait, no, that's just his channel. Never mind. Well, do a Lost Boys, man. All right. Yeah. I have to I start getting on his videos and comment and do Lost Boys. I was wondering oh, if... Boy. Um, All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're probably going to have to end it here. We hope you have enjoyed what you've seen here. This was the Nostalgia Critic reviewing Ooh. Sleepwalkers. And, uh, Which uh, I'm pretty sure we did not enjoy. Yeah. The, the movie parts, <laughs> anyway. And if you all are interested in... Well, maybe seeing... Nick did. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like it, it would also be one of those movies that I would watch and be like, this is so bad, I love it. Well, if you all are interested in seeing the original video, link is always but in the description down below. And uh, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. I'm Kyra. I'm Nick. And Peanut is hiding under this blanket safe from what we just watched. Safe and unaware. Wow. <laughs> all right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Corn! I'm off, man. Boom, da, boom,